What's up guys, it's Nick, and as the title states, this is just going to be a weird discussion video. I have topics that I want to talk about, and we're going to talk about it. It's not really for a particular reason, it's just kind of <clears throat> a fun thing that I wanted to do for a while. So I have three topics that I wanted to talk about. I'm not going to get super political about it or anything like that, because I don't really care about that shit too much. Um, but I thought that I could just talk about shit. It's, but a uh, little disclaimer beforehand. This video is most likely going to end up getting really weird and boring. Um, also, let me uh, turn the music down a little bit so it's just kind of in the background instead of taking over my voice. Um, yeah, this video is probably going to get really repetitive because when I just... I don't have a script for this or anything like that. And when I talk just like on a, on a whim about stuff, it I generally repeat myself a lot. So that's probably going to happen in this video. I'll try and avoid that, but it... I'm just saying it might end up happening, so don't try and blame me too much for that. Um, <clears throat> the first thing that uh, I want to talk about, real, it, it's just a light thing to start off with. Uh, people who hate on drinking milk, fuck you. <laughs> if you hate on drinking milk, go fuck yourself. I drink milk every single day because I'm a child. <laughs> no, but I drink, I drink a shit ton of milk a lot. And if you I'll also, if you're about to come at me, uh, if you drink skim milk, but you're not like too big on that, we can we can be friends. We can I, I'm fine with that because skim milk is the scum of the earth. But if you if you're about to come up to me and tell me that you like skim milk or like it better than other milk, even one percent, I'll take one percent, motherfucker. You're about to tell me that you like skim milk. Out, out not having that here uh-uh this is a two percent and up house whole milk is always better i think it's like 3.25 percent but two percent is also good um so yeah uh two percent and above is good uh one percent we can deal with that it's still mostly water but whatever and if you drink skim milk go fuck yourself <laughs> I should also probably state, none of this is actually too serious. Uh, I'm just kind of having fun talking about stuff. It's not that I'm going to be, like, lying or making, like, a like the whole thing is going to be a joke. I am talking about stuff that I think about, but it's, like, it's not super serious or a big deal or anything. So, I don't know, maybe just enjoy the fucking video. I don't know, dude. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about, uh, like, an actual topic, um, is uh, gatekeeping. If you don't know what that is, uh, I, it came up recently because, uh, if you didn't know, I think it was yesterday, or maybe the day before, uh, was the, like, 10 year anniversary or some shit of One Direction. Yeah, I don't know shit about One Direction, but my sister knows shit about One Direction, so that was fun, um, but... The thing that came up recently is one of her friends, I'm not gonna like pull up the video or whatever, especially because it was on Snapchat and I don't have that, uh, which by the way, Snapchat, it's, I'm too much of a boomer, it's too fucking much for me, I can't handle that, I can't handle Snapchat, it, no, no, Instagram is just like the feed going down and I can look at that, and, okay, there's stories here, I can look at those too, fine, Twitter is just like, okay, I'm just reading a bunch of shit. Maybe occasionally a picture here and there. Snapchat? Oh, can't deal with that shit. Can't deal with that. Mm -mm. Not even a little bit. Because it's too, it's too much interaction. If I'm going to interact with you that much, I'll fucking text you. Or I'll just talk with you. I don't I don't need to be sending dumbass pictures. Especially when like 90% of the pictures is just like a random like corner in your room. Or like your fucking toes. It's dumb. The whole thing is dumb. I, I, I don't really care if you like it, but I can't handle that shit. But anyway, back to what I was actually talking about. Um, one of my sister's friends on Snapchat, like I said, not going to bring up names or anything like that, but what, they, were, they were going off and they were like, oh, because apparently they've been a One Direction fan for like a long time. So they were like, oh, uh, all you people uh, before, you know, you, you were all taught you were shitting on One Direction or whatever. Uh, so all you bandwagoners, that's a big word, uh, you bandwagoners are coming back <laughs> and trying to jump on and post stuff about, oh, One Direction is back on your stories. Uh-uh. 
you're not allowed to do that now. Which, whoo, that's, uh, not good. <laughs> not, not good. Um, yeah, so, gatekeeping, if I'm being general about this and not just, like, a specific scenario, it's generally, like, someone is, like, a fan of something or whatever, usually, like, like a pretty big fan of something, and other people try and join something, uh, the, that same thing, and they're like, uh-uh. No, I've been into this for a long time. You're not allowed to just jump in on this now. Which is not cool. Don't do that shit. Because it's like, well, people aren't allowed to change their minds about things. No one's allowed to develop as a person. No one's allowed to have changing opinions on things. That's not how thinking works, apparently. Or how life works in general. Your, your opinions change on shit. You know? Like if we're going back to the milk example. I used to think skim milk was fine. Now, that shit's gross. And I used to only drink milk if they had the chocolate shit in it. Now, I don't even like that chocolate shit. Give it to me straight. Or maybe I'll take vanilla milk. I've had... There is some good fucking vanilla milk out there. Because it's kind of just like eggnog or like a melted milkshake. It's... It, it's good. Whatever. But, um... Yeah. People's, people's fucking opinions change whatever even if even if like they were oh like they shat on it before but now they're hopping on it well opinions change people change just shut the fuck up and let people enjoy what they want to be into that's why like one of my favorite things ever i think it was on twitter i think it was either twitter or on reddit i might it might have been a twitter post that i saw on reddit um it was like someone uh, and they were like oh so all you people who are saying that Avatar is on Netflix now, and you're just gonna hop on this now when we've been watching it for years? Thanks. <laughs> really, really appreciate having more people here. Glad to have you, or something like that. It was, it was just really nice because you always expect people to, to gatekeep and just have someone just be accepting of having other people. It's, it's good. It's like, it's, it's one of those things that's weird because it's like, yeah, technically that should be the norm. But it's not, apparently. So, seeing someone do something that's, like, pretty averagely nice is really refreshing to see. So, because so many people online are just fucking toxic and annoying. And I'm not I'm not just dismissing, like, other people's arguments or whatever. Like, if, if someone has, like, an actual argument about something, fine. I'll listen, I'll listen, I'll consider that. But if it's just, if it's something like, like gatekeeping or whatever, it's... There, there, there shouldn't be any space for that. It, it's not something that should be cultivated. Um, and now, uh, my third topic. And I know I said I'm not gonna get political, and I'm really not. But this, it, can't, this topic, it could go political, but I'm gonna not try and let it go there. Um, is people who refuse to wear masks in public. Uh, is this is more topical thing for right now, but. I, cause I I get that people generally do that for political reasons, whatever. I don't I I really don't care. I could not give less of a shit. Uh, I think Eddie Burback said it really good in one of his videos. Uh, is that uh, I'm not I don't care. I'm not against your political party. I'm in the party against annoying people. I think that's a really good stance. Just don't be a fucking dick about it. Like. My older sister works in a UPS store, and, like, someone came in and was, like, harassing people for wearing masks, and they didn't have one on, um, and they were, like, harassing people, like, oh, you shouldn't be wearing a mask, and blah, 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 all this political shit. It's like, why? Why, why do you need to do that? Why can't you just accept that, like, even, even if you personally don't think it does anything, just, uh, uh, the whole thing with masks, it's not for your sake. It's not for your sake wearing a mask. It's for other people. Just be considerate of other people. Because uh, you're, you're going like, to go around, oh, well, it's my right to not have to wear a mask. Technically, you're not wrong. But also, if you're about to go into like a store or some shit and say that, uh, well, also remember that the store is privately owned, so it's their right to not let you in if you're not wearing a mask. Yeah, but you, you hear about so many people that, like, get up on their soapbox and they're like, oh, hey, you know, I have freedom and I'm not, you're not going to make me put a mask on. And it's like, it's not a freedom thing. Like, what do you really lose from, but what, what do you gain from not wearing a mask? 
And it's like, yeah, sure, you can say, okay, I had the freedom to choose that I didn't wear a mask. But what's the problem with wearing the mask? Like, if you're just doing this to prove a point and you don't actually have a problem with wearing the mask, which is what it seems like, it seems like they don't, they don't think that it's an actual, like, problem or that, like, it, it's, like, not good. Uh... I, I don't think I don't think that's the case. I think people are, just want to show that they have their own independent freedom, which is perfectly fine. And literally, literally any other scenario, I would accept that shit. Any other scenario than a fucking pandemic, people are dying from this shit, and you're about to be like, oh well, I guess I have the freedom to uh, kill other people inadvertently. No. No, actually, you don't. So, just put on the mask. You can probably get one for free. If not, like, a dollar, maybe. And, like, even even the ones that aren't, like, the, 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 the best ones are the ones that, like, painters and stuff use that, like, it, like, seals really good on your face. Those are, like, the best ones to use. But even, even the other ones, even, like, homemade ones, like ones that are like all sewn together and stuff i don't know about crochet because that leaves like huge holes in there but whatever like ones that are like sewn or stuff like that but there was like some bill nye video on twitter just like a quick little thing and like he puts on just like a normal mask like you see like dentists using so like the the standard like really like disposable ones that a lot of people wear even that like he had like a candle there and he was blowing like through the mask into the candle and like it was there was like no like strong like winds coming out or anything like no and like it wasn't blowing out the candle or even like disturbing it much it, that's that's kind of how it works it doesn't it's not able to travel that far yeah sure it can get out of the like it can spill out of the mask but it's not like it's harming anything it's not perfectly helping but it's not not like it, it is helping so even even if you think oh well it's not it's not the right one so i don't have to wear this shit it still helps so whatever i'm gonna wrap this video up before uh my computer is having so many fucking problems there have been a lot of cuts in this video it's because my thing stops recording every like two minutes and I have to close out of OBX and reopen it again. And it's, it's a piece of shit. I think my computer is overheating. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, to wrap up my points in this video, uh, wear a mask, uh, don't be a gatekeeper, and drink your milk. So that does it for this. If you like this kind of video or whatever, maybe leave in the comments. Say something like, hey, this is cool, or uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do another one. I'll, I might end up doing one anyway. I always I always say that. I, I'll probably end up doing one. But who knows. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it. <coughs> I'm getting sick. No, not really. But if you liked it, then hit the big old thumbs up button. Because it tells people, me, whether or not you like the video. So consider doing that. You can also feel free to check out my Twitter and Instagram in the description. They're always down there. Uh, I think I posted something. I don't, actually, no, I don't think I posted anything. But I think I was going to today, question mark. Maybe there's something on there. Maybe. Uh, but you can also, like I said, leave comments with suggestions. Maybe you want me to do this again. Maybe you're saying, Nick, uh, when the fuck are you getting back to FNAF 2? I'm working on it. I'm finishing up all the challenges. I just beat 2020 mode. Uh, not Golden Freddy mode, but I beat uh, the 420 mode that's on there. Uh, and I think I beat the one after that. Whatever. Um, so I'm working on beating those. And then I'm going to come back to it probably next week. Uh, probably like Friday next week, probably. But that also, that's assuming that I'm able to beat it. Excuse me. <laughs> that's assuming that I'm able to beat it in that time period. <clears throat> which I doubt that I will um, but yeah just know it's coming I'm not I'm not trying to delay that I'm trying to get on top of my shit as much as I can uh, and it should be coming soon uh, but other than that you can click right over here to go see my most recent video you can click over here to go see some weird shit that YouTube thinks you should watch and click right in the middle here to go subscribe 
But anyways, thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Why can't I come up with anything better? Can you uh, help? Leave in the comments if you want a, a better outro suggestion. And don't give me some basic bitch shit like, peace out, guys.